Hey, welcome back to Moo Math. Today we're going to look at, zoom in here, on how to simplify radicals with, a, with negative values. Okay, we've looked at the pattern of i, and if you haven't viewed that, you may need to go back and look at the pattern of i. But now we're going to take that concept and simplify this negative radical, negative under a radical. So I've got 5i times the square root of negative 64. I'm going to take negative 64 and divide it into two parts the square root of negative 1 and the square root of 64. And we know the square root of 64 breaks down to 8 times 8, so we can take out a perfect square, 8. And then we've got this square root of negative 1. Well, we learned from the patterns of i that the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. Okay, so square root of negative 1 becomes an i. I'm going to bring out one of these 8s because it's a perfect square root. And then I am bringing down this 5i, which is my coefficient. Now let's multiply all this together. So I have 5 times 8, so my coefficient is 40. And then I have i that's on the outside and then the negative square root of 1 on the inside, so that's i squared. Now we know from the pattern of i that i squared is equal to negative 1. So I'm going to replace i squared with negative 1, so the answer is negative 40. Okay, let's look at a couple more of these. Here's number 8. Okay, number 8, we have square root of negative 81 plus 3i minus 2. Well, we need to simplify this first, so let's break this down to square root of negative 1 times the square root of 81, and we know 81 is a perfect square because it breaks down to a 9. So this is going to become 9i. So when you have the square root of negative 1, it just becomes i plus, and I'm going to bring down the back half here, 3i minus 2. Now I can add my like terms here, so I have a 9i and a positive 3i, so that's going to become 12i minus 2. And that is my final answer, because I can't combine those. That one has an imaginary number, and this one's a real number. Now to write it in the correct form, I really need to write it as negative 2 plus 12i, because we want to write it in what we call the a plus bi form, which is the form of a complex number. So always write the real part first and the complex part second. Okay, let's look at a couple more of these. Let's look at this one. Now this one's fractional. Okay, I'm going to take this fraction. I'm going to split it into two parts, square root of negative 1 in the numerator and the square root of 49 in the denominator. We know the square root of negative 1 is just i, and the square root of 49 is just 7. So we keep it as a fraction, and the answer is i over 7. Okay, here's one with another fraction. Now, we've got 1 fifth plus a square root. So I'm just going to bring the 1 fifth down and kind of let him hang out for a minute while I simplify this square root. So I'm going to split it into the square root of negative 4 over the square root of 25. Well, we know the square root of negative 4 would be square root of negative 1 times the square root of 4, which becomes 2, right? Square root of 4 is 2, and then i. So my numerator is 2i, and my denominator, what's the square root of 25? Well, 5 times 5 is 25, so I'm going to bring out a 5. So what's my final answer? Well, my final answer is 1 fifth plus 2i over 5. And that's how you'd write it, because you have the real part followed by the complex part. Okay, let's look at this one, number 11. We have the square root of negative 9 times the square root of negative 36. Well, the square root of negative 9, if I isolate that, that's the square root of negative 1 times 9, which becomes 3 and i times the square root of 36. Square root of 36 is square root of negative 1 times the square root of 36. We know that the square root of 36 is 6. We know the square root of negative 1 is i. So now let's take 3i times 6i. That gives us 18i squared. Well, 18i squared we can simplify because you never want to have i to any other power but 1. So i squared is negative 1. So 18 times negative 1 is negative 18. So there are a few examples of how to simplify radicals that are negative.